Hi there, welcome to today's vlog. Still struggling with a summer cold, and a summer cold plus asthma plus London doesn't always make a great kind of combination. I was up very early this morning. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is should you sit or should you stand when playing the saxophone? Now, when I'm playing tenor and soprano, which is kind of 95% of the gigs I do, whether it's performing... Teaching. Or practicing. I'm tending to stand because the tenor is a big instrument and it's just what I've always done because actually, strictly speaking, in order to get the full amount of air through your lungs, you really need to be stood up. And also when you're performing, especially within a quartet scenario or trio scenario, you really ought to be stood up. People expect that, don't they? And I've just always done it. Whereas when I've been practicing all these classical pieces for this recital, as you'll see in a moment, when uh, I take you back to yesterday, when I took the camera into London with me for this rehearsal with Gerard, um, I've normally practiced these pieces sat down, as you've seen if you're a regular vlog watcher. Uh, I've been sat down practicing these pieces. And when it got to the rehearsal, I really struggled to play the alto stood up because it just didn't feel comfortable in my hands. It felt like it was trying to run away from me the, all, the, all the whole time. Once I sat down and I was in that normal position of how I've practiced it, it just felt a lot easier to play. And, you, know, you might be able to hear it from some of the um, recordings I got from yesterday. The other thing that was really noticeable was how different it sounded in that room. I mean, sat in front of that a massive instrument, that organ, and it really you could barely hear it sat in front of it. I had to really, really listen hard. And I thought as well that it would absolutely overpower me. And it was quite noticeable how good the balance was between the saxophone, even when I'm playing quite softly. And that room is fantastic. Apparently it's not as live as it used to be. Uh, the great British Prime Minister Lloyd George used to said, <coughs> said that he preferred the acoustics of Methodist Central Hall Westminster to the Royal Albert Hall uh, for speaking and he much preferred speaking there than he did at the Royal Albert Hall which is something we do talk about a little bit um, but yeah it's a, much, it's a smaller room than the Albert Hall though because it's sort of about half the capacity but still seats about 2,000 people and you can tell it's really getting on my chest so the upshot of all that is that I'm going to be spending most of my time now when I'm practicing this piece stood up because the recital is about two weeks away now or oh, two and a half weeks and I really Really need to get used to standing up and playing it.
So that's the rehearsal done. Um, lots to practice, obviously. Uh, it's good to play it with Gerard. It's different from playing it, obviously, along with the recordings. Um, and yeah, just wish I wasn't so tired and could get through it. Wasn't so warm. Um, anyway, email's done. I'm going to try and head back. So there you go, always practice standing up if you possibly can, unless you've got a really long time or you're playing in an orchestra or something, but really if you can, standing up is always the best thing to do. Before we finish today's vlog, I have something very exciting to show you. I went to the printers uh, this afternoon. I now have the proof copy of my practice plan and my new book, uh, which is here. There you go. This is the practice plan of book that you, if you've already ordered it below, if you want to order it, pre-order it ready to start with it in September. I'm going to talk about it in some of the vlogs. Uh, there's a link below, £12. Anywhere in the world I'll post it to you. For now, after you know a couple of weeks time I am going to start imposing um, postage charges on it. So now's the time to pre-order it. If you get a pre-order in I'll sign it, it'll be with you. Um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm so excited. It looks better than it looks better than I ever thought it could do. Millie has done an amazing job, and I'm really pleased with the printing on it as well. I wanted the book to be totally flat, but actually, I think this is going to work. I think this is great. I'm really, 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 really pleased with it. So, don't forget, check the link below and order that copy. If you would like anything else, uh, then you need to sort of maybe drop a comment in below. If you want free four free saxophone lessons, head to CambridgeSaxophone.com. You can pick those up there. I'm going to be off. The grid until next week so maybe we'll do a vlog q a so if you've got any questions stick them in below and i'll do my best to answer them in the next vlog thank you very much for watching i'll see you next week thank you bye bye